welcome to the next video. This video is going to look at time and days. We're going to start with some days and we'll move on. We'll look at days of the week and telling time as well. The first one is juzi. Juzi. It literally means the day before yesterday, but sometimes people use it just to talk about some days that have passed. So it might not actually be the day before yesterday, but something that happened before yesterday at some point in time. Juzi. Jana. Jana. We've seen this word already if you've watched some of the other videos. Jana means yesterday. Leo. This is an L. Leo. We've seen this word as well. Leo means today. Kesho. Kesho means tomorrow. And Kesho Kutwa. Kesho Kutwa. Kesho Kutwa means the day after tomorrow. Siku, siku literally means day. So any given day is siku. Wiki is an easy one. It means week. Wiki means week. Mwezi, mwezi means month. Mwaka, mwaka means year. Mwaka, emphasis on the mwa, mwaka. We've seen this word as well when we looked at the standard questions video. Una miaka. Miaka is plural for muaka. Muaka means one. Miaka. Miaka means many. The same thing, muezi means one, one month. Miezi. Miezi means many months. This is a little more advanced, so don't worry about it too much. Just focus on learning the basics. Mwezi, mwaka. Asubuhi, we've already seen and hopefully you remember that that means morning. Asubuhi, emphasis on bu. Asubuhi means morning. Mchana, again you've seen this word. Mchana means afternoon. Jioni, Jioni, evening, and usiku. Usiku is a new one. The other three you should have seen already and hopefully you're familiar with them. Usiku means nighttime. Asubui is morning. Mchana is afternoon. Jioni is evening. And usiku is night. So we'll continue on with time and days. Here we'll look at the days of the week. Juma. Mosi. In Swahili, Juma Mosi is Saturday, so the week starts on Saturday instead of starting on Sunday. Juma Mosi. Mosi is similar to Moja, is like one, so the first day. Juma means day, and Mosi is like one. Juma Mosi, Saturday. Juma Pili. Juma Pili. It's like the second day, so for them it's Sunday. Juma Pili. Juma Pili, Sunday. Juma Tatu, Juma Tatu is Monday. Juma Nne, Juma Nne is Tuesday. Juma Tano is Wednesday. Juma Tano is Wednesday. Alhamis, Alhamis is Thursday. It's an Arabic word. And it means Thursday, Alhamis. E Juma is Friday. E Juma, Friday. The emphasis is on the Ju. E Juma, Friday. So those are the days of the week. Juma Mosi, Juma Pili, Juma Tatu, Juma Ne, Juma Tano, Alhamis, E Juma. If we're looking at the months, it's just counting. It's the first month, the second month, the third month, fourth, fifth, sixth, and just until the twelfth month. So, muezi, which we know is month, muezi wa kwanza means the first month. Muezi wa kwanza, which is January. Muezi wa pili, wa pili, it means February, the second month. Mwezi, sorry, Mwezi wa tatu. 
is the third month. From there, the numbers are normal. You'll notice Kwanzaa is different than Modja. So this is first, whereas Modja is one. And Pili is the second, whereas Mbili is two. So these ones are a little bit different, but after that, it's all the same. Mwezi watatu, wane, watano, wasita, wasaba. So if you practice your numbers, the months will come easily. Mwezi watne would be the fourth month. Mwezi watano would be the fifth month and so on. So practice your numbers so that you can be comfortable with the months and practice your numbers as well so that you can help learn the days of the week. It makes it quite easy and straightforward. It just takes a little bit of practice once you get the numbers. Juma Mosi, Juma Pili, Juma Tatu, Juma Ne, Juma Tano, Alhamis, Ijuma, Mwezi wa Kwanza, Mwezi wa Pili, Mwezi wa Tatu, and so on. Mm -hmm.